This is the plaintiff, Robert Beveridge. He says he purchased a boat and a trailer from the defendant and he can't get the trailer registered with the DMV because the defendant has been unable to provide him with the proper paperwork. The trailer's useless to him if he can't get it on the road legally. The defendant refuses to return his money and he's suing her here and now for the $2,100 he's rightfully owed. This is the defendant, Jessica Tinney. She says she sold the boat and trailer as a package deal, and she sold them both as is. She told the plaintiff at the time of the sale she didn't have any information on the make, model, or year of the boat or trailer. She doesn't know why he can't register it and finds it very suspicious. He started complaining about all of this after the boating season was over in the early fall. Oh, him? No way. She's accused of unloading on a landlubber. All parties, please raise your hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff bought a trailer from the defendant and the no, defendant no, didn't have good title. So the trailer's useless, but the defendant says the plaintiff purchased the boat and trailer as is. It's the case of trailer trash. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, so you bought yourself a boat on Facebook Marketplace, a boat and a trailer. Yeah. Does anybody have the advertisement here? Uh, I do. Both Your of Honor. you, show me what you say is the advertisement. Let's see if we see the same thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, so your asking price was 5500 and what did you do? You talked her down to what? Uh, 4700 Your Honor. Okay, now as it turns out, you were able to register the boat, but not the trailer. Yes. And you have to register the trailer right. to be able to use it. Now, you have come up with a story here that I paid the defendant $4,700, $2,400 for the boat and $2,300 for the trailer. How do you come up with that? Because I don't, do you have a bill of sale? Uh, no, I didn't. I never okay, got a so bill of sale. Okay, so if you don't have a bill of sale and the advertisement doesn't sell them separately, how are you picking the figures well, out of the sky like that? Well, because uh, it was a package deal. Right. And so, so isn't it up to me to figure out what that's worth? Like, how are you coming up with it being worth 2300 Based on what facts are you coming up with that? Well, the, the uh, uh, new trailer is worth about $5,000. So I figured half of it for the, for the used trailer and the other half for the, for the boat. Everything that's used just, you just Well, because the, the state of Connecticut, How old is the trailer? The boat is a 1990, so the trailer's probably a 1990 as well. It's okay. not, it's no longer shows up in the NADA book. Well, or no, the Kelly and book worse book. than that, you sold it and you didn't have title to it, even though you explicitly say, I have the title for everything in the advertisement. So it turns out he can't register it. Right. Why don't you have the title? We lost it in the divorce. Okay. The paperwork was just lost. So they said, I went to DMV. But why, yeah, right, okay. I was so, going to say, why can't you reproduce it? Correct. So I agreed to meet Bob at the Waterbury DMV. In Connecticut. In but Connecticut. you guys never registered it in Connecticut. Correct. All right. So where did you register it? I never did. Because the guy that But we, you have to register it. But the guy we bought it from gave us the tags. He had had it registered. Well, no, that just means you're not going to get caught. That you, You're less likely to get caught. Who's that? My daughter. Oh, geez. How old is she? 15. Okay, so she's hearing this. If the next time she gives you grief for anything you did wrong, you remind her of this. Okay? <laughs> so having a tag on it that is someone else's and not registered to you just means you likely won't get stopped. It doesn't mean you did the right thing. You're supposed to register it in your name, not in the other guy's name. And unfortunately, we got divorced, and we never did anything else with the boat. Well, when did you buy it? <laughs> How long before the divorce is what I mean? It's on the affidavit. More or less. How long before the divorce? Wait, you don't know? 2008. You're 2008 was when they bought it, right. and the divorce was what year? 2009. That I figured you'd know. All right. So, um, <laughs> don't forget that. So, a year later, okay, but that doesn't tell me that the trailer is from 1990. The guy could have bought the trailer the year before. Correct. So, the, so you go to register it, and you can't register it. And then you go to help them, and you fill out some kind of affidavit. Whose idea was that? That was DMV's. Okay, so you fill out the it's affidavit the saying what they want you to say, and it, it, he still can't get it registered. Right, so he could do a title search because I don't Why have don't you any... you do a title search? You're the one who's supposed I to no be providing... I no longer have the boat. 
So what does I, that have to do with doing a title search on that? That's where I would start if I was going to do a no, title search. No, the boat's search. not a problem. The boat isn't a problem. But the boat was registered to the previous owner who owned the trailer as well. So why don't you call the previous owner who you bought it from? Because I don't have his information anymore. Okay, so how do you expect him to do it? What do you expect? Because, so he has possession of the boat now. Right. So it's no longer titled to me. Right. So he could go to DMV and do a title search and connect before me who owned it before me. Why should he have to do that? You're supposed to be providing good title. You're right about the phrase as is. You may have sold it as is. So if he said, there's a nick on this trailer or, you know, the boat doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. Yeah, the answer to all that is as is. Because when you sell something as is, you are not providing a warranty. Correct. But the warranty that you provide for any vehicle that needs registration is you'll be able to register it. It is unspoken. But in your case, it was actually spoken to because you mentioned how you have the title, but it doesn't matter. That is a representation that every seller makes. Hey, you'll be able to use it as a trailer because it'll you'll be able to register it. So this is a you problem. It's not a him problem. So when you say he could research it, yeah, he could also he could do a million things. But why should he have to? You're supposed to do all that. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to physically have a boat or have it registered to you to do a public record search. That is a public record. Anybody can do it. So did you do a search? I didn't. Right. So now what? So purchased as is. But the seller can't supply title. Do the buyers get their money back? Well, I think that if it was purchased as is and it was clear that the, the title wasn't available. It wasn't clear. Oh, it wasn't clear. So I think they should get their money back. But it was as is. Do not get their money back. Because? As is. Who's going to be the tiebreaker here? You are. I think um, the gentleman who purchased it was in the wrong for purchasing it, but he needs to provide a title the, in order to register. The seller? Yes. And if the seller can't, do the buyers get their money back? Absolutely. Okay. Going inside the courtroom. So I did give him back $200. For his troubles when we thought troubles. that you could still register it. And two, because if he had to scrap the trailer... Those trailers, the trailers are only worth like maybe $500. Now. Okay, so here we have it. We have one person saying that trailer's worth $2,300. We have another person saying that trailer's worth $500. Would any of you like to present the court with any evidence of what a trailer that size should cost? I didn't bring any with me, Your Honor. Of course not. What brand uh, trailer was this? Trailmaster, Your Honor. How big was the boat? 24 foot. 23 foot, Your Honor. Your theory is that it's going to cost you so much more to get a new one, but of course you don't have to get a new one. You could get a used one, like the one you bought, right? right? It, and so that's really your measure of damages, isn't it? What it would cost you if you went right now on a site like eBay, right? Yes. And uh, tried to buy this trailer. Your, your, your um, Honor? Yeah, what do you want to say? I need a trailer that has a capacity of 5,000 pounds. Because? It's a tandem trailer. Because? It's got to have four wheels because the boat weighs 3,000 pounds, empty. Oh, okay, so it's got to have four wheels. Four wheels. Okay. That's a little more expensive, obviously. I'm looking at one that can uh, carry 6,000 pounds, and it sells for 700. Um, and it's from 1995. It's newer. Um, <laughs> so why wouldn't that be a far more accurate measure of your damages? Never mind, don't even answer that. That was totally rhetorical. <laughs> Verdict for the plaintiff, $700. That's my judgment. So the plaintiff recovers $700 in a judgment from the judge. What are you thinking, Matt? Are it is what it is. I sold it as is. I tried to work with him until I got a text message yeah. saying, you know, she doesn't know who she's messing with, and <laughs> that was it for me. I was done. I are. wasn't doing anything more. You won't be selling one like that again. No, so. I have no more. I have to sell. <laughs> good I'm enough. Good. good for you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have signed some documents. All right, Mr. Beveridge. Well, what do you think? The judge looked it up online. She found one for 700 bucks. You okay with that? I should have asked her where it was because I'd you like should. to buy it. You can <laughs> still get them. Maybe yeah. it's still there. Yeah. Okay. So but, but I'm happy with the decision that the judge made. Good enough. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you very Wasn't much. what you asked yeah. for, but hey, Something's one's available. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and Harvey. So, uh, Doug, the the judge said that the seller warrants that he or she can supply good title, even if it's not discussed. The reality is that you cannot sell that which you do not own, and if you don't have title, you're not the legal owner.